don't don't cancel your trip until you've done these things first. Now, we understand that you must be really uncertain about traveling overseas right now with coronavirus so much in the news. But we also all understand that canceling that trip of a lifetime is it's not an easy choice. So before you cancel that amazing trip, here's six things that you should be checking out first. One, check the UK government's latest advice. The UK government's Foreign and Commonwealth Office keeps up-to-date advice on where they recommend it's still safe to go. And we'll be keeping our advice and the map on our website up to date too. Two, check your dates. If you're traveling in the next couple of weeks, then yeah, you're gonna need to consider the situation as it is right now. But things change quickly, and it's reasonable to assume that if you're traveling later in the summer, then the situation really could have changed by then. So, Save yourself some disappointment. You know, make the decision a bit later when you've got more information. Three, check your cancellation terms. Some airlines, hotels, uh, holiday companies are offering really, really generous terms right now if you choose to defer your trip instead of just straight up cancel it. Try getting in touch and see if they'll do you a deal on moving your trip. Even if you're not confident flying today, at some point in the future, you're gonna be. And when that day inevitably arrives, why not have a great deal all booked and ready to go? Four, check your travel insurance. If all else fails, you may need to make a claim on your travel insurance. So make sure it covers you for changes to FCO advice, pandemics, and for countries not letting you in. Five, talk to your travel agent. If you booked through an agent, then they are gonna be best placed to advise you on your options before you take the big step and cancel the whole trip. And finally, number six, check your holiday extras. <laughs> we would say that, wouldn't we? <laughs> if you've booked a uh, airport car park, airport hotel, airport lounge through Holiday Extras, you don't need to cancel it. You can just move it to a later date as many times as you like and then just use it when you're ready to fly. It certainly is a tricky time and there's a lot of information rolling around, but it would be such a shame to cancel the trip of a lifetime if you really didn't have to. So I hope this information has been helpful. And uh, yeah, my name's Jake. I'll see you on the next Travel Hacks.